What's get up? This is Linux Techs. Ubuntu and Arch Linux couldn't be more different from each other. If you look carefully, you will see that in every aspect, they both are the extreme opposite of each other. If one of them is a long-term support version, the other is a rolling release. If one of them has the easiest installation of all the Linux distributions, the other, well, has the most sophisticated installation procedure ever. And the list goes on. Now both of these distros have a huge user base. Millions of users use these two distros and are passionate about them. They both have their pros and cons. But which among them is the best? Which among them is more suitable for you? Ubuntu or Arch Linux? Let's find out. So today, I will be comparing Ubuntu 18.04 and Arch Linux side by side and in depth. And as you know, I'll keep it short and on point. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my Linux videos. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. Ubuntu has a heavily customized GNOME desktop. The GNOME desktop is customized to look like the traditional Unity desktop of Ubuntu. The theming is gorgeous and a wide range of amazing wallpapers are included by default. Ubuntu's desktop has a ton of extensions already added and customized so that the users can get on with their work immediately. Some like the customization but for some it can be a turn off. By default, Arch Linux does not come with any graphical desktop at all. Arch Linux comes with just a terminal based window and from there you can install any desktop environment you want. GNOME, KDE, Cinnamon, Budgie, LXD and many more desktop environments can be installed as per the user preference. All these desktop environments run great on Arch Linux and you can see that I have installed the GNOME desktop which runs fluid smooth. All the desktops on Arch Linux are installed in the purest vanilla form and you customize the theme and look on that. Although setting up a graphical desktop environment on Arch Linux can be some work, it is one time work and honestly it allows you to customize every aspect of your desktop to better suit you. And Ubuntu on the other hand provides you with a great desktop setup out of the box. This is a rather subjective point so I will give both the distros a point each in the user interface department. Next, we'll be having a look at the performance of the two operating systems. Arch Linux comes with zero bloat. There are no pre-installed applications on Arch Linux. Anything and everything you need should be installed manually. This means that only the packages you need get on the system and this makes Arch Linux really lightweight if you utilize this point properly. Ubuntu comes with a ton of pre-installed packages. The desktop is resource intensive too. Now the pre-installed applications such as LibreOffice, a browser, a set of small games, a video player and some other tools are essential for home desktop users. But this does make Ubuntu slightly less responsive when compared to Arch Linux. On Arch Linux, the desktop is more personalized with only the applications you need and nothing else. This makes Arch Linux feel faster. But this snappiness of Arch Linux is limited to just slightly faster application launch times and window responsiveness and not actual computing performance such as gaming. Still, Arch Linux wins this round. Ubuntu is a really solid operating system with the trust that it has built over a decade. Ubuntu is the choice of professionals. It is deployed on servers which cannot afford a downtime of even a couple of seconds. And as for desktops, I use Ubuntu for all my development work and I must say, Ubuntu has been dependable and reliable 100% of times. A long term support version of Ubuntu has a lifetime of 5 years, which is generally more than enough. Arch Linux, on the other hand, is a rolling release Linux distribution, which means that the same installation will receive updates till the end of times. On Arch Linux, you will get updates on a daily basis. The updates are extensively tested for stability and these regular updates do not cause any inconsistencies in any way. Although it is not mandatory to install each and every update, if stability is your prime expectation from your operating system, I suggest you give Arch Linux a pass and go for Ubuntu. Out of all the Linux distributions, Ubuntu has the highest support from software vendors. Almost any software created for Linux will be available for installation on Ubuntu in a convenient, quick and a trustworthy way. This advantage of Ubuntu cannot be stressed enough. The official repositories of Arch Linux are huge and comparatively have many more packages than those of Ubuntu. And the software that are not available in the official Ubuntu repositories are brought to you through the use of PPAs. PPAs are maintained by the software developers or the maintainers themselves, which you can generally trust and install from. 
Arch Linux handles this by the implementation of the Arch User Repository. The Arch User Repositories are one huge pool of all the software maintained by the Arch Linux community. Arch Linux and Ubuntu get an A plus in software availability. Now if you are into gaming, I suggest that you pick Ubuntu. The reason for this is, Ubuntu is officially supported by Steam and Steam games are particularly tested for stability and performance on Ubuntu. Steam and Steam games run fine on Arch Linux too, but personally, I wouldn't recommend a rolling Linux distribution for gaming. Even on Arch, I remember the open SSL update breaking a number of Steam games. If you are into gaming on Linux, why not stick with something that's officially supported by Steam? Ubuntu has a simple and straightforward installation. Even the most complex operations are represented in an easy to understand and beginner friendly way. You can install Ubuntu in under 15 minutes. And if you need any help installing Ubuntu, the link to the step by step guide video is given in the description of this video. Arch Linux on the other hand has a very sophisticated installation procedure and everything is handled in the terminal. Now this might be very difficult to Linux newcomers and ridiculously time consuming for the less tech savvy people. I really don't like this approach of Arch Linux. The installation is supposed to be user friendly. Once the installation is done, installing the drivers for your graphics card and other drivers is really simple on Ubuntu. A few clicks here and there and Ubuntu installs the optimal drivers for your hardware automatically. On Arch Linux, you need to install the drivers manually. You might need to use the ArchWiki and other online guides to install the appropriate drivers for your hardware and configure them. In the installation and configuration department, Ubuntu wins by a huge margin. Ubuntu has one of the best documentation and any issues you might face are easily solved by following the beginner friendly guides on the Ask Ubuntu forums. The community is very friendly and the solutions are highly accessible and easy to follow. And even if you have a question that is not already answered, community members prove to be very helpful. The community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu. Arch Linux 2 has a huge community. Community plays a much bigger part with Arch Linux. The development of Arch Linux is carried out by the community. The decisions are made by the community. The documentation and support are provided by the community. In a sense, Arch Linux is a truly community-driven project. The Arch Wiki is the most concise, professionally maintained and dependable documentation a Linux distro has. It's just that awesome. My appreciation goes out to the amazing people who put in the effort to make Ubuntu and Arch Linux enjoyable for other people. Both the distros get a point each for community support. Personally, I love both Arch Linux and Ubuntu, but for my development work, I prefer to have the Ubuntu stability by my side. I cannot have an update breaking or changing the behavior of the code that I write. But at moments, I also like having the newest technology on my PC. Arch Linux provides you a safe and yet the bleeding edge technology. You will have the latest of all the software and packages. This is kinda nice too. Honestly, it's very hard to pick a side. But as we have seen throughout this video, there are some areas such as installation where Ubuntu might be better than Arch Linux for most people. So the winner for today is Ubuntu 18.04. Go ahead and give them a try. The download link for both the distros is in the description of this video. If you like this video then do hit the subscribe button below and your comments are always welcome. Well that's it for today. This is Linux Tech signing out.